Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate the use of schema only accounts introduced in Oracle Database 18C. Schema only accounts don't allow direct connections, so administration of their objects is done using DBA users or proxy users. Applications should never connect directly to a schema owner. Schema only accounts guarantee this is not happening. This also reduces the attack surface of your database by removing login credentials that are not necessary. It's common practice to restrict access to a schema owner, preventing people accessing it using shared credentials. Instead, people administer the schema contents using a proxy user. We create a user called schema owner and grant it some privileges to create objects. We create a user called Tim so I can connect to the database. We grant it the create session privilege. We allow this user to proxy to the schema owner user using this statement. Alter user schema owner grant connect through Tim. The proxy user connects to the schema owner using this syntax. The username is made up of the proxy user and the user it's proxying to in square brackets. Importantly, the password is the password for the proxy user, not the schema owner. Once connected, we can see we are connected to the schema owner without ever knowing its password. The issue with this approach is it's still possible to connect directly to the schema owner if you know the credentials. Also, the schema owner account must remain in a state where logins are possible for the proxy users to work. As an example, if we manually lock the account, when we try to connect using the proxy, we get an error telling us the account is locked. We recreate the schema owner as a schema only account. Notice the no authentication clause. We include the grants as normal. Once we re-enable proxy access using the TIM user, we can make proxy connections as before. We can turn a schema only account into a normal account by giving it a password. When we check the DBA users view, we can see the authentication type is set to password. We can convert a regular user to a schema only user by altering it, adding the no authentication clause. When we check the DBA users view, we can see the authentication type is set to none. A user can only be converted to a schema only account if it has no admin privileges. If we need to check this, we can use the $PW file users view. We can see the schema only user has no admin privileges. As we can see, schema only accounts are a neat little feature that help us manage database security. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.